Ever before in the storied history of the Rick Games YouTube channel has there been an unboxing video, but never before has there been a better reason than this beautiful, luscious, blue and white box, the PlayStation 5 Spider-Man 2 bundle. I'm very excited for this. Uh, uh, we're gonna do an unboxing, and I've never done an unboxing before. Um, I don't really know how. <laughs> so, all right, let's take a look at the box first. Uh, you have the Spider-Man 2 logo, obviously, and I'm assuming it comes with the game. Um, PS5, Sony, yada, yada, yada. It looks something like this. There's the controller. It says T for Teen down here. I'm assuming that's the game. That's T for Teen and not the PlayStation, because that would be weird. It says 8K, and then it says 4K 120 HDR next to it. I don't know what that means. I thought 4K was the highest you can go, but this is an 8K. I don't know if I need a new television for this or what. It just says Spider-Man 2 on the side with the Sony and PlayStation logo. It's got tape on it because this was a gift. So <laughs> my beautiful, wonderful, lovely girlfriend Rada got this for me for Christmas. Thank you, Rada. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the other side has, you know, Sony, PS5. There's what it looks like. And the game next to it. Back in the box, this is a pretty cool Spider-Man logo. That's pretty sweet. Little PlayStation buttons up here. Uh, 825 gigs. Um, is that, I don't know if that's the most. I don't know if that's, I don't know. This is not the slim version, so I'm assuming that's the most. Uh, play like never before. It's got lightning speed. It's fast as lightning. Uh, harness the power of a custom CPU and SSD. What's SSD? Standard. I think it's solid state driver. Solid state driver? I think so. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Do you know what that means? No. No. <laughs> Alexa, what's a solid state driver? Driver is a type of electronic component that is used to convert electrical signals into mechanical forces, which are then used to operate a load. Integrated I.O. What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any of these things mean! Uh, that rewrite the rules of what a PlayStation console can do. Nice. There is breathtaking immersion. We're going to be immersed. That's going to be fun. Discover a deeper gaming experience with a support for haptic feedback. Alexa, what does haptic feedback mean? The term haptic feedback describes how a machine can give you the impression of touch by using tactile sensations or vibrations. Oh. This technology is found okay. in many different devices. So basically it's like the old, the, like the PlayStation 4 controller that like, like it's got the, the shock. Yeah, it's got like the rumble thing. So that's what that is. Uh, and 3D audio. What is 3D audio? Oh, there's all these things here that I don't know. They came up with a whole new thing of technology when I was like sleeping or something because it's... It's just there now. Stunning games, Marvel at the Incredible, ah, uh, Marvel, get it? Marvel at the Incredible graphics and experience, new PS5 features, play play a back catalog of supported PS4 games, so it's backwards compatible, which is awesome. Let's get this puppy open. I should've got a knife, should've got a knife. Why didn't I get a knife? Cause I'm dumb. There we go. Sony PS5 quick start guide. And a safety guide as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna need those for the setup. We got the power cord. Ooh, here's the controller. Here's the, oh, look at that, that looks nice. It's pretty. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, oh, these buttons are all clear looking. I don't know if you can see that. They're all like clear buttons. Ooh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. And look, the PS, but like this used, oh, I hit the PS button and it started glowing blue. I didn't realize this was charged and ready to go. Uh, but yeah, the PS, the, the PlayStation button is like just the logo now. Like on the PlayStation 4, it's as the circle you hit. Here's the base. Base. Okay. Oh, this is gonna, Watch, the setup of this is what's gonna kill me. I'm not gonna be able to figure out how to work the base and I'm gonna humiliate myself. There's the HDMI cable. Oh, this is for the controller, I believe. USB on the one side and this plugs right into here, yes? Yes. 
Okay, so that's the charging cable. Spider-Man 2. I need that. Especially, oh, you get a pin number. Use the code above to access the game. Okay. This is just for the game itself. Already installed, I'm assuming, or maybe I have to install it with this. Ooh, 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 it's magic. Cat took off. I don't know what the hell. She's scared of the place in her I go. I'm not. She's scared of the half the tree back. <sighs> Look at it. That's so pretty and shiny. It's so clean. <laughs> well, it actually has a spot for the power button. The PlayStation 4 didn't have that. That was just like, figure it out. It's one of these lights that you press. But, uh, okay, we got one um, USB on the front. There's another little, I don't know what this is, what this port is right here. What's that? That kind of looks like it would be for this, but I can't, yeah, that fits in there, but I can't imagine what that would be for. Maybe it's like a phone charger or something, I don't know. And you got power and eject buttons here. You got two HDMI or um, USB ports. There's the HDMI port, power. And I guess you can plug the E uh, if you want to do a land, land, land line. What's that called? Hook it directly from the modem router to this so you don't have to worry about Wi-Fi and dropping stuff and all that other stuff getting disconnected. This is very, very cool. So, I brought up my PlayStation 4 from the recording studio basement. And, uh, like I said, it's very dirty, but you can see how much bigger the PlayStation 5 is. Um, it's, which is weird. Usually, when they're coming out with new technology, they try and make it smaller. They said, no, screw it. It's going to have a lot more stuff. You're going to be able to do a lot more things. Let's just leave it as big as and awesome as it looks. So, you can see, size difference-wise, PlayStation 4 way smaller. Not exactly, it's, a, it's about maybe three quarters the size of a PlayStation 5. Uh, I brought up the controllers as well, so you can see the difference. They're about the same size, roughly. Um, the PlayStation 5 has like a flat bottom on these. These don't, these are rounded off. So I don't know, is that better? I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, the, uh, you see the PS button that I was talking about on the PlayStation 4 controller is a rounded button with the PlayStation logo on it. And then this is just the PlayStation logo by itself. Just something neat, not necessarily better or worse. The power cord uh, looks very similar. Where's the power cord here? Same setup, same everything. I don't think it holds more power or distributes anything differently or whatever. I don't know the names of anything ordered off Amazon or anything. But that's the comparison of the two. I, this is my um, charger for the uh, PlayStation 4 controllers. I have the dual charger bit going on. I don't know if I can use the same thing for here. It doesn't look like I can. So interesting. This, this has the uh, charger control port up top as does this, but this also has one on the bottom. So you can just sit it on the dock so this will just sit on the dock and charge because it's got the cord in the back. Uh, this I'm gonna need to new, I don't know what kind of charging capabilities that has. We're gonna start putting this thing together and getting it hooked up to the TV and see what we're working with. So let's do that right now. And then this goes like this. Yeah, that just goes right there. Oh, look at that. I like that there are thumb screws and I don't have to get tools out. That's awesome. And so now we have the base attached and it just sits like that. Okay, HDMI to the television. Gotcha. And here's the power cord. Spaghettis. Spaghettis. So much spaghetti. Look at all the spaghetti. My goodness, I'm already full. Cord for the charger. I guess that will be going in the front. I could plug this in the back, I imagine. Power. I made a noise. It's glowing blue. Okay, there we go. We got a PS logo. Oh. Updates. 
Da, 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 da. Ah, license agreement, sure. Let's agree to that and not read it. Because, uh, America. Okay. We got the button on the controller. Tool sense, where was the ability to update its device to software release? Oh my goodness, so many updates! I just got the effing thing! Allies and rivals can see your gaming history, that's fine. It's well out there, but your cover, your real name will be visible only to friends on the PlayStation Network who you choose apply! Alright, so we missed the welcome to PlayStation 5 bit, but that's okay. Uh, we're in it now, man. PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Store, it's all up right here. Alan Wake 2 is out. I'm going to have to pick that up since I played the first one. Um, I just downloaded Nobody Saves the World. That was one of the free games uh, this month on the PlayStation Store or the PlayStation, whatever, network, account, this thing. PlayStation Plus, that's what I was looking for. Um, my goodness, we're in it, man. We're in it. Remote play. You also use a mega. Okay. Wow, I can connect to PC straight to this. Okay. That's cool. I'm going to have to look into this. And that's it, man. PlayStation 5. We're hooked up. We're ready to go. And we're going to be back tomorrow playing Spider-Man 2. Finally. Spider-Man Saturdays have returned, even though it's going to be on Monday. And it's going to be every day, uh, every weekday, because I'm not just playing this on Saturdays. Are you out of your mind? So... <laughs> we're uh, we're done for right now. That's that's it, man. We're upgraded. We're done. We're in. We're playing PlayStation Five, baby. For right now, please like the video and subscribe to Rick Games. Helps me out a lot when you do that. And check out the annotations at the end of the video for more videos that I've done. Hey, next time on Rick Games, Spider-Man Two. Next time on Rick Games. Bye.